Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mel and it's been a long, long time since I sat down in front of a camera and actually done a talking video. But as it's coming up to Eat Disorder Awareness Week, the 27th of February to the 5th of March, I think I've got that right. You do correct me if I don't. So if you've watched my previous videos uh, th throughout the years doing uh, Eat Disorder Awareness Week, I've nearly done it every year, doing different topics. But this year, I wanted to focus on what I have. I have bulimia nervosa and not many people know what that is. People just assume an eating disorder is one type of illness. When it's not, it's much more than that. There's, there's so many, which I will go into, but the main focus I want to stay on is the bulimia and how it's affected me physically, mentally, emotionally. Even though I've shared what bulimia nervosa is throughout my uh, Eat Disorder Awareness Week videos in the past, I wanted to share some helpful tips of what I have gone through, have got, and some worksheets that may help you as well if you are struggling with bulimia nervosa. But also, if you are struggling with eating problems, please let me know down. I will find some more work worksheets suited to you. So what I will be focusing on is worksheets, my therapy that I've been going through for the past 13 years, uh, what I found helpful, what I didn't find helpful, and actually going into detail with these worksheets, like what I wrote down. And for example, write a letter to yourself in five years time. And there are two sides to that. One side is write a letter to yourself in five years if you still have the eating disorder. And then the other side of it is write a letter to yourself in five years if you don't have the eating disorder. And I found this very, very eye-opening. And it just makes you realise that you shouldn't be living a life for your disease, eating disorder. You shouldn't be holding yourself back and letting it take control over you even though you feel like you've got control in all honesty you don't so this does come with a struggle i am starting a regular eating pattern which is not normal for me in the past let's say eight nine years i have struggled to even keep a meal down like a proper meal christmas dinners uh, birthday meals they are very hard for me and I want to change that that's why I am doing this for not just my own sake but for other people's as well to help them find the right help they need basically about getting to know yourself more and I've always said this in my past videos journaling is the best place to start even though if you're not a journaling person I highly recommend it because I never thought I would be a journaling person until I picked up a book and I have over there a cabinet full of journals and each one has its own subject so obviously I've got my eating <clears throat> eating plan and just different things which I will be sharing throughout this series so I hope you find these series of videos helpful and reassuring. I will also be linking down in the description below some helpful apps that I use and everything else. Everything will be down in the description and if you have any questions, please just message me. I am here to support, to help you and overall to share my own experience because I want to recover. And that's the first step in recovery, admitting that you want to recover. So here we go. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.